Hey, I'm joined here with Clarksville resident Rex Stockton, who graciously took me through his home. I saw his tornado shelter. I saw your kitchen and your roof blown off. You could see that very well from your kitchen. Thank you so much for speaking with me after yeah. such a heartbreaking night. Tell me what you saw yesterday. Well, we had just got back from shopping and the first thing I noticed, the dogs wouldn't go out, which is kind of unusual. Mm -hmm. Uh, so we went upstairs and we had grabbed some food and then I looked out the back because I could hear it sounded like the wind was picked up and we already knew about Paris Landing. You know, we had heard that the storm was through there. Uh, so when I heard it, I opened up the door and I kind of looked outside and I didn't really see a wall cloud, but I could see a funnel starting to form. So I thought, is that a, you know, I, I just didn't know. So I kind of stood there for a second. And when I saw the transformers blowing, I, that's when we we're like, yeah, we got we, we got to go downstairs. And uh, but we have, you know, it's fortunate we have a place set up for that, uh, for these kind of occasions because you never know, you know, what could happen. Uh, but it was maybe 20, 30 seconds, and then everything was quiet again. So I walked out, and I didn't really, I didn't know how bad it was. Uh, when I walked upstairs and I saw our roof, you know, that part was gone. I still looked to the right, you know, the rest of the house on the right had damage, but it wasn't, it wasn't too bad. I walked over and when I looked outside from where the tornado came from, uh, I saw my neighbor's house and I went, I went uh, upstairs and over to check on him real fast and he was okay. And when I walked out, I realized there were no houses there. So that's when some of the guys, these guys are uh, military. They just moved in, and this guy's uh, military with uh, the medical group. And so we had people heading down there really quick. And, uh, of course, the people that were right across the street, they were first. And then, you know, you had, you know, 15, 20 people trying to push up the side of a house. And uh, the one guy you could tell had probably passed. But then we heard... A young lady and some of the people were over there and go hey hey there's you know this girl's alive so we all went over there and tried to lift that up and when there's so many people I kind of branched off and started to search through some of the homes and then we walked this back area back here because it blew so much towards the school uh, and I, I hadn't uh, oh I'm sorry Go ahead. And you just said that your wife um, gave CPR as well, right? Yeah, my wife was a nurse at Tanova, uh, and Angie went down with me. And God bless her, she did everything she could and uh, worked, you know, for a while. And then we, uh, when the emergency crews came, everybody just kind of backed up and let them do their thing because at that point there really wasn't a lot else we could do uh, and she stayed with as many people as she could and then we came we came back this way when we found out uh and we we tried once the emergency crew showed we tried not to interfere too much and let them do their thing but uh, god bless you she tried you know so. well thank you so bad so much i know it's hard to talk about um and we're going to catch up with you in just a moment and hear a little bit more but we are going to send it back to you guys in studio i know there's uh, much more to talk about on this as well